Hi fellas, this is Jawad from Kemadix. Welcome back to my another video tutorial. I'm really glad about the fact that you are here to watch my another video tutorial. So let's get started. Well, in question number 6, it says 10 gram of magnesium is added to 1 dm cube of 1 mole per dm cube copper to sulfate solution and the mixture is stirred until no further reaction occurs. Well, this problem is related to stoichiometry, molar concept, etc. So let us solve this problem. Which of the following is a result of this reaction? Is it the resulting solution is colorless? Is it 10 gram of copper is displaced? Is it 63.5 gram of copper is displaced? Or is it all the magnesium reacts? Well, let's see. Well, in order to solve this question, we need to first find the key point of this question. Okay, the key point of this question is 10 gram and this one. 1 dm cube of 1 mole per dm cube copper to sulfate. Okay. In order to solve this question, we need to know which one is excess and which one is in limiting reactance okay well let us recall what is limiting well let us recall what is limiting reactance and what is excess reactance the equation of the given question is this magnesium is reacting with copper to sulfate To give magnesium sulfate and copper magnesium sulfate and copper okay so we need to know which one is limiting which one is limiting in this portion this portion is the reactance we know so let us know with now now let us know which one is limiting and which one is in excess okay is it copper to sulfate or magnesium well so how can we identify which is in excess or which is in limiting okay well, in order to know this, we need to do a little bit of calculation. Okay. Okay. We need to do a little bit of calculation. At first, at first we need to find uh, the number of moles of magnesium, number of, number of moles. Of magnesium okay. well let's see to know the number of moles of magnesium we need to know the mass as well as the molar mass we know the molar mass of magnesium is 24 and the actual mass of Magnesium is 10 gram. Okay. So, number of moles should be 10. Actual mass divided by molar mass is the number of moles. And if we observe that, and if we observe the mole ratio of this reactance is 1 is to 1. Magnesium is to copper to sulfate. The mole ratio is 
1 2 1 okay so the number of moles of copper to sulfate reacted is number of this is number of moles of copper to sulfate reacted okay it is not given this one is not given given amount of moles this is number of moles of copper to sulfate reacted okay reacted this should be this one should be reacted number of copper to sulfate moles reacted so you know from this molar ratio that this should be since their molar ratio is 1 is to 1 so the number of moles reacted would be 10 by 24 okay this is the reacted this amount of copper to sulfate has reacted with magnesium so how can we know that this this should be the number of moles we find this number of moles by the by the ratio by ratio of magnesium with copper to sulfate okay i hope that you have understood so now we will find the number of mole, actual mole number of number of copper to sulfate moles actually given okay actually actually given So the actual given is we will find this from the question. The actual given is we will find this from the concentration of copper to sulfate. The concentration is uh, one mole per dm cube with the given volume is one dm cube. Okay. So we will find the number of moles. Number of moles. of copper to sulfate this is the actual number of moles from here okay so we will find this by concentration into volume we know the equation is concentration into volume concentration number of moles of copper to sulfate we will find the number of moles of copper to sulfate by the equation concentration by the formula concentration into volume okay so the number of the actual number of moles that this should be actual The actual number of moles of copper to sulfate is 1 multiplied by 1, you know, is 1 mole. So, from here, we also find that this one is in excess. What we have calculated is the actual. Uh, the reacted amount is this one which is less than 1 which is less than 1 okay and what we have found that the actual given number of mole is 1 mole so ultimately we have found that copper to sulfate is in excess okay and magnesium is in limiting 
okay i hope that you have understood now we will going to find the mass of copper well now let us justify which should be the answer is it is it the a the resulting solution is colorless no this shouldn't be the answer why because copper to sulfate is in excess it will remain after the reaction is completed the col the color of copper to sulfate solution is blue therefore the solution remains blue since there is copper to sulfate is present since there copper to sulfate is present okay so this shouldn't be the answer a so let's let's see whether b or c should be the answer for this we need to do a calculation a simple for this to find this answer to find in order to find whether b or c is the answer we need to do a some sort of calculation okay so let us find this we know from here we know uh, the number of moles the number of moles of copper is we know the number of moles of the number of moles the number of moles of copper reacted reacted number of moles okay copper to sulfate is from here we can find is this one this one we will take the reacted amount of moles okay since it says displaced so number of moles of copper to sulfate reacted is one one mole is equals to 10 by 24 okay this is the reacted amount of moon okay the reacted amount of moon okay so we we can find the mass of copper to sulfate uh, no from here from here we can find the mass of copper how since uh, the copper the the mole of copper is if the mole of copper is one the copper to sulfate mole would be one since uh, copper has one unit you understood the uh, the mole ratio of copper is to copper to sulfate is one is to one so the number of moles of copper is also 10 by 4 okay so the number of moles of copper is also 10 by 4 I hope, I hope that you have understood in by 24 so the number of moles of copper is 10 by 24 <coughs> sorry 
I hope that you have understood. So let us find the mass of copper. Mass of copper should be ten by twenty four into sixty three point five, which implies as that, which implies as that, that this shouldn't be B or C. Okay, the answer doesn't match with this one, so B and C shouldn't be the answer. Hope that you all understood. Well, let us see whether D is the answer. Since we know so now we know that D should be the answer. Why? So if we look at the calculation here, we will find that this one is in limiting okay this is in limiting so as this is in limiting so it will all it will get used up okay it will get used up and copper to sulfate is in excess this is in excess So all magnesium will get used up in the reaction. Okay. So D should be the answer. I hope that you have understood the question as well as the answer. Okay. Bye. Well, this is the end of today's tutorial. Hope that this tutorial might help you with your exam preparations. Well, sorry for my bad English, but feel free to point out my mistakes as well as ask questions that you have in your mind in the comment below. See you in next video. And don't forget to share, like and comment as well as subscribe for more video see ya thank you